Okay, uh, it's pretty hot today, hotter than we thought, but uh, we came up here to the Newcastle area, and uh, this right here is the site of the Newcastle number one coal mine. And uh, down below is uh, Black Creek, right there. And uh, this, of course, was mined on the Black Creek scene. We don't know if there's any more foundations, but uh, the Newcastle mines go back to 1870s. And uh, one of the uh, founders of Birmingham, John Milner, started uh, mining up here. And uh, so this was the site of what I believe is his first slope mine, Newcastle number one. And this are the this is the actual foundation, what we think could be the hoist foundation, made of uh, stone. Pretty historic right here, just up in the woods, totally forgotten. And the, uh, the hoist would have sat right here. And uh, those are the bolts right there. Boy, they're in excellent shape too for <laughs> being 130 years old. And I think this played out about 1900 to 1905 when they started opening up uh, newer slope mines. But uh, this is the uh, actual uh, stone foundation, what we believe is the, uh, could, uh, for very likely the uh, hoist, the cable hoist. And it was steam operated and uh, they had no, uh, no problems with water supply being next to Black Creek. So anyway, it's very deep in the woods here so uh, there's a lot of deer trails uh, haven't really been able to find any known photographs of Newcastle number one but there are some tramway beds and on the other side of the creek there's uh, a bunch of large tailings piles so they must have had like a trestle going across the creek where they dumped the coal tailings so there's other tramway beds and it's hard to really say how this uh, laid out but I think the coal mine opening is right over here so but uh, anyway very historic right here Okay, so we're still proceeding uh, towards the uh, what we uh, what we hope is the old slope mine opening or remains, and these are uh, we think are our little trussel retaining walls right here. They're on either side right there, and you've got the creek right here. You've got another one right over there. Let's see. Now there's a. Another little wall right there. So the mine opening is supposed to be somewhere over here if I don't get eaten by a giant brown recluse. It's just, I've never seen this many spiders in one area. And I think that's it. Hey Josh, I think this is it. So I think we've uh, found uh, found the mine opening here. So I'm sure it'll probably be flooded. Oh yeah, look at all the water coming out of it. Oh man, yeah. Of course it's right next to a creek, why wouldn't it be? Oh wow. That mine is seriously flooded. Look at that. Wow. No one's going in there unless they're scuba diving. But that's it, man. That's uh, Newcastle number one, right there. That, this was uh, the first coal slope mine in the Newcastle area right here. You can see how they cut right in going after the coal seam. So all that water is coming out, going right into the creek. Dang. Wow. Here we go, guys. 
Yeah, you can see how much they had to cut right off the side of this big ridge right here to go in. So that was the hoist uh, cable hoist foundation we saw way back around on the other side of the ridge or parallel to it. So this right here is the tramway line and just uh, ahead is the old L and N rail line. It's uh, and they used to have a full wooden trestle there. It's since been removed. I mean, decades ago, and they did what's called a trestle fill. So the the, the wooden trestle is still there. They just filled it in with dirt, so they wouldn't have to do any maintenance on it. So across, they had a trestle over here going across, and on the other side of the creek, there's all these large tailings piles. So. Uh, they the tramway went up under here and somewhere on the other side the north side or the west side they had a a loading temple for the coal for the l and n uh the main line so but that that's pretty neat right there no one's getting in that baby Okay, we went uh, further down the tramway just looking and there was a big hole back there. And it, what it is, it's a subsidence to the main slope slope mine here. So, but anyway, we're gonna wind it on up. We just were curious to see if we could find it. And uh, yeah, this was the first coal slope mine in the Newcastle area right here. So anyway, hot as blazes out of here but uh, we did find it. Okay, we uh, repositioned to uh, another ridge line and uh, these were part of the old uh, Newcastle mines right here. And uh, these were just a small series of drift mines that they had. Uh, not much is written about them, but Mr. Box is checking them out. See what it looks like. How's it look? Collapsed. Totally collapsed. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, uh, the tramway bed continues on down this side, so we'll see what we can find. <laughs> 